Hi, I'm Bruce, known as Zero Cool in the My Tech Academy community, and I'm an instructor for My Tech Academy. If you don't know, My Tech Academy is a growing educational platform teaching blockchain technology, crypto investing, coding, DeFi, so much more. Going to our website, mytechacademy.io, you'll see our extremely affordable monthly membership tiers, and you can sign up for our free three-day trial and give us a test run. Our focus is to take you from beginner to advance in this crypto ecosystem. So check us out and become a part of our community. Now, in this how-to video series, we will cover a variety of decentralized exchanges, also known as DEXs. What is a DEX? What or a decentralized exchange? What is that and why is it essential to the crypto ecosystem? So a decentralized exchange is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace that allows you to buy and swap crypto without an, 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 an intermediary, no middleman involved. This is all done via through code. And that's essential because during this purchasing process, you are able to maintain custody of your asset during the entire process. No one has your money but you. Now, the decentralized exchange we're going to be looking at today is one inch exchange. It is a DEX aggregator and DEX aggregators solve the problem of liquidity. These platforms aggregate liquidity from various DEXs to give us the best possible price in the quickest time. Again, without an intermediary, all this is done through smart contracts through code, through law. Again, join My Tech Academy or just look up what are smart contracts. So as we go through the one-inch exchange, how to demo, how to buy and swap crypto, we're gonna need two things. We're first gonna need a crypto wallet. Now the one-inch exchange supports a variety of wallets, but in this video, we're gonna utilize the MetaMask wallet. Now you can use the one inch iOS wallet, you can use Bitski, you can use Wallet Connect. Again, they cover a lot. The second thing we're gonna need is a, you guessed it, a supported browser. So we're gonna need one of these browsers. And for our tutorial, for our how-to, we're gonna be using the Google Chrome web browser today. So, Let's buy some crypto and see what this experience is all about. Trustless, no miniman, nobody holds our funds but you. This is the power of this technology is that it's trustless and self-custody, self-custody of your own asset. So let's dive in. Now I have the one inch exchange as a bookmark but if you have never been to one inch exchange then simply what you'll do is go to either coin gecko or coin market cap i'm going to go to coin market cap so it's coin market cap.com now here coin market cap we can search for the one inch exchange and i'll just type in one inch And now this link here will send me to the one inch exchange. Once I'm on the homepage of the one inch exchange, I can launch the DAP. DAP is an acronym for decentralized application. So I'm going to launch it. And now I'm at the swap page. There is a lot to these DEXs, uh, but the purpose of this tutorial is to focus on the swap feature. We want to buy crypto. So I am going to change this from automatic to dark. So you can see it a lot better. And now I'm going to connect my wallet to this exchange. I'm going to use the MetaMask extension. You have to accept. And then I'm going to be over the Ethereum network. 
And now I'm going to choose my MetaMask wallet. It's going to require me to sign in. And I'm going to unlock. I was previously on the Optimism Network. If you guys aren't familiar with Optimism, I can do a video on that. It's a layer two on top of the Ethereum blockchain. Now I'm in. I have my wallet connected. And so now I want to buy some crypto. I want to swap. Now the beauty of these, these DEX aggregators are I could do an actual swap, which is basically the market rate, the market price in which the asset is trading for. So if, for instance, I am looking to get some Chainlink, then I will get Chainlink at its $6 price. Uh, if I wanted to place a limit order, if I had a specific target in which to place a buy order at, then I would use a limit order and it would we can customize this for a limit order for one hour, one day, seven days. It can be custom. It can go all the way to three years. So a lot of versatility, a lot of flexibility. And again, I would say we'll use USDC and I would sell some USDC to buy Chainlink at $6.02 if I want it to. So, or I could say $2.98 is where I think Chainlink is going, or $3. And then I can set my limit order for Chainlink at that price with an expiration date of, say, within six months. Then I would review. Now, if you're in the U.S., you'll need to use a VPN. And this is very important. This is why we're going over this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to a VPN. Uh, I use Surfshark, but there are many out there. And we will continue this tutorial. Okay, so I am back. I am now connected via VPN right up here. And we can begin. So in this instance, I go ahead and select review limit order. Say I have my limit order at $3. That's where I expect Chainlink to go. It's 100% difference off its current price. I'm going to review that limit order. Only have a submission in for one link. And now I'm prompted with terms and conditions agreement. I would encourage you to read this uh, and then you can sign and proceed if you wanted to do a limit order. But let's go back to the swap and let's go ahead and go back to our simple mode. And we will buy some, we're gonna buy some Telcoin. And we'll buy $10 worth. Hmm. Maybe we can, well, let me show you another feature here. We have aggressive and custom. So this is just to expedite the purchasing process. Um, you don't need to do this unless there's for a certain reason we are at the time of this recording we are currently in a bear market and there's really no need to uh force transactions i'm pretty sure a lot of things are going to just go through now over here in the gearbox setting the global settings as i change the theme to dark you can customize this to use thousand separator if that is something you are used to seeing so it's a little more understandable to you uh, if you wanted to show the routing so then you could see exactly where the swap routes go you can do that 
You can even show the table of how this transaction is going to traverse before hitting your wallet. Again, very simple. Even down here, you see the route. It's going to go USDC, ETH, Telcoin. And if you wanted to, again, expand it this way, you can. So let's buy $50 worth of Tel. We're going to buy $50 worth of Tel. And I'm going to swap. I'm going to authorize this transaction. Signature request. I do understand. Remember, I'm over at VPN. I will allow. Now I can confirm swap or I can even receive my Telcoin in another wallet. But let's confirm the swap. Let's get our Tel. And it's going to cost some gas fees, $4.10 in, in ETH. Uh, I have that. And in the other videos, I'm going to explain the power of layer two to cut, to drastically cut these transaction costs down to pennies. Um, you'll see in later videos, the power of layer twos than the Ethereum network. And now the transaction has been sent. We're going to, we can view this on the ether scan. If we wanted to, I'm going to close this out. Then I'm going to take a look at the pending transaction up here. Okay, so now I'm in my wallet here and I have refreshed. Hit the refresh button down here, and my Telcoin is going to be imported into my Ethereum wallet. And now I have some Tel. I would wait for Telcoin to drop a little more, guys. Um, if you're not in our community, uh, I kind of give breakdowns on where a lot of these projects are going to be headed so we can buy right and make a lot of money be sound investors, not just ignorant speculators. So Telcoin is in my wallet, 22,804. Again, because of the transactions, it's used up about 41 of my Tel for that, for that transaction. But I wanted to show you one inch over the Ethereum network. Moving forward, I will not be doing transactions over the Ethereum network. I will be doing transactions over layer twos or side chain networks, uh, which save on these transaction costs. So that is one inch exchange. This is how you buy crypto without an intermediary. If you're in the United States, you will need to use a VPN for this exchange. But once you do, you can purchase and it goes directly into your MetaMask or wallet of choice. So I will see you in the next video.